Hello, my name is Don and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you an update on the Tika T1X, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so let's address the elephant in the room, this bright green PDC Customs chassis. Uh, I got a little bit tired of the, uh, the plain old factory stock that was on this rifle and uh, I ordered a, uh, this chassis from PDC Customs six months ago and I finally got it a couple days ago. We did get it installed. It went, the, the action went in this thing perfectly. It's a very solid lockup between the chassis and the, uh, the action. Uh, you have a color, uh, choices of many different colors. The colors that he had, I wanted something a little brighter and boy did I get it. So this is basically bug gut or arctic cat green. It is very bright. Uh, it's a little brighter than I was expecting, but honestly, I love it. Uh, I love uh, green. This type of color is, is um, one of my favorites. So if you've seen my Savage uh, MK2 video, you did see that I updated that with a bright green uh, Boyd stock, and I love that rifle too. Uh, something about these bright green colors that, uh, that I really like. So I'm quite quite happy with the color. I was a little uh, thrown off guard at first because I wasn't really expecting a fluorescent green color, but uh, you know what? It's actually grown on me. Uh, I think it looks really good with the black and then the uh, the chrome uh, accents uh, look really good on the rifle. So I'm quite happy with this chassis. It's very solid. The only thing with this chassis is it does not have any M-Lock. Uh, Craig does a Instead of putting an M-lock on it, he does the this the sideways design here. Now, I know if you wanted to add weights to this chassis, you can order them right from uh, from PDC Customs, and they, they custom make them. I don't know if they code them, what the deal is with it, but I do know that you can get weights directly from them. Uh, it does have the ARCA rail built right into it on this section and the front section. It also has the Anschutz uh, cut in the uh, in the chassis, so that's really nice. The uh, the buttstock is fully toolless adjustable. This thing is pretty cool, and it it clicks. So every turn you make makes a click, and uh, it it locks down real solid. So your length of pull and your cheek height is uh, fully adjustable. Now I did put the uh, the MDT Pro Custom uh, grip on here. This is by far my favorite grip. I actually put these on some of my precision ARs that I have too. I, I just love this grip. I love the feel of it and I like the uh, uh, the size of it. This particular model has a thumb rest on it and a uh, bag rider. Uh, now I know that the bag rider was uh, extra money, uh, but I think it's like 50 bucks maybe, somewhere around there. So this is probably the most reasonable chassis on the market uh, and this is a powder coated finish and it's 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 shiny it does fit the it does fit the uh, the color I don't know if this would have looked quite as nice if it didn't have a glossy uh, finish uh, I know this the stock is not going to be for everybody but I like it a lot and it's my rifle so I don't really care <laughs> uh, what else it's a factory action factory trigger uh, I do have the yo Dave trigger spring kit in this and guys this, t this trigger is phenomenal. Uh, I, I don't know why anybody would replace this trigger. It is a phenomenal trigger right from the factory. And then when you add that Yo Dave trigger spring, I think it brings down brings it down to like 12 ounces. Uh, and it's just, there's no travel, it, there's no creep. It's a, it's a fabulous trigger. I really like it a lot. Uh, and then I did add the, uh, the magazine holders to, I've got one on each side. Uh, but that's pretty much the build. We're using an Atlas bipod also. I'm really digging that bipod too. Uh, I've got several Accutax and then I have this Atlas and I think I prefer the Atlas honestly. Uh, it's a little bit lighter and it's a little bit easier to adjust. Alright guys, so what we're going to do today is I'm just going to basically re-zero this, make sure that the zero is on. I do have a couple different lots of uh, SK long range match here. So I'm just kind of curious to see how this, these two new lots of SK long range shoot in this. Now being cold, this probably isn't the best time to do it, but I just kind of wanted to get a update video 
on the Tika on the channel because I know there's a lot of guys out there that love the Tika T1X. So I thought I'd throw some content out there. So we're just going to shoot probably three groups with uh, each ammunition, and then uh, we'll score them up, and then I'll uh, I'll meet you down in the uh, the new studio. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. Uh, I should have released a video on that last week. So uh, yeah, we do have a a new studio, and I think it's pretty pretty cool. Uh, we've got all the rifles behind uh, behind where I talk and. Uh, I really like it a lot it's kind of a gun room also I don't store all my guns in there but it it's pretty cool I really like it I'm really enjoying it and thank you very much to hold up displays for contributing that to the channel now guys I did pay for everything here except for the right on uh, right on did send me this for testing uh, so I did not pay for this but everything else on here is bought and paid for by yours truly but uh, let's see how this ammunition groups in this rifle so here we go Oop. We need that. better turn this on I do not have a downrange camera today we're gonna be using the uh, the trigger cam all right let's see what we get here Now this ammunition, I did shoot a couple of groups earlier, and I did have some ammunition that was really hot. Uh, you could tell it had broke the sound barrier because it had a hell of a crack to it. And uh, so this lot doesn't seem to be as consistent as the other lot is, but uh, we'll find out here shortly. I'll shoot one more group with this lot, and then we'll switch over to the other one. So we're going to be using this NDR uh, aluminum billet aluminum magazine. Uh, they did send this to me to try out. I'm very, very impressed with it. I love this thing way more than the factory mags. Haven't had any hiccups at all with it. Boy, that, that wind is cold. If these groups aren't the greatest, it's because uh, that wind coming through that door is freezing. All right, let's try the 12771 lot. One flyer. That could have been me. a good one. I screwed that group up. That was definitely all my fault. Uh, my finger is freezing. That wind coming through that door is just unbelievably cold. All right, guys, so uh, let me measure these up. I'm not, I'm not going to pay much attention to these groups though because uh, it's so cold and you know these rifles don't shoot very well when it's this cold they certainly don't shoot their best in the ammunition if you can't keep the ammunition warm uh, it's going to be super inconsistent also so that could be you know part of the reason why I'm getting some uh, very hot rounds also all right guys well let me uh, go down there uh, oh as you see the uh, this magazine the NDR magazine actually worked flawlessly this is a super nice magazine. Uh, it doesn't have the sharp edges by the feed lips like the uh, the factory one does. And it holds 15 rounds. So guys, uh, don't be afraid to buy these. These are actually excellent magazines. All right, let me go grab that target and I'll get right back to you. All right guys, so I'm gonna post that target right up here. So the first row of groups averaged a .33. The second row of groups averaged a .38. Uh, that's the SK long range. I've actually had really good results with these two lots. I mean, it's decent ammunition. 
I've been having a little bit of ups and downs with that ammunition as of late, but the last few bricks that I've gotten have been pretty good. So as far as this chassis goes, I like this rifle a lot better now. Tika doesn't exactly give you the best stock to work with uh, from the factory. And putting that action in something like this, uh, it really adds the enjoyability, the usability, uh, and the ergonomics uh, to make this a lot better rifle. Uh, now, as far as the Right on Conquer 5, this thing has been pretty good to me. Uh, like I said in the earlier, I've, been, I've used this thing for about 10 months now, and I've had no problems with it at all. It's got a good field of view, it's got excellent turrets, uh, everything works like it's supposed to, and it does have an illuminated reticle, and I believe the whole reticle actually illuminates on this one. Let's double check that. Yes, the whole reticle illuminates, and actually I'll throw the reticle up right here too. Now, Rhydon will offer like 40% off uh, sales from here and there. In my code, Rimfire SS is stackable on top of that. So you can go from a 40% discount by using my code up to a 55% discount. So I'm not sure when that sale is going to be coming up, but I think it's probably going to be pretty soon. So you might want to keep your eye out for that. And I will post something on YouTube when that sale does come forward. Now, uh, yeah, like I said, this has been a pretty good rifle. I've always had feeding problems with this, and I didn't have a lick of trouble with the uh, feeding on after I installed it in this chassis. Did that have anything to do with it? I don't know. We'll soon see. Uh, but I was having trouble uh, with this feeding every single time I would shoot it, and I didn't have a lick of trouble with it today. So guys, if you like what I'm doing here, there's a few different ways you can help support the channel. I do have a, um, a Buy Me A Coffee, I have a Patreon, but I think the easiest way to actually support the channel is to like and subscribe. And there's also a super thanks down below where you can donate any amount you would like to the channel. Uh, it's real easy to do, so if you think you'd like to support the channel, that's probably the easiest way to do it. I also have a link tree, so down below in the description you're going to see a link to uh, basically a site that has all of my links uh, listed. And these are companies that have either helped support the channel uh, or have donated uh, products or anything of that nature to the channel. You know, and all that stuff helps, guys, because I can't do this by myself. It gets very, very expensive. But all right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for today. So if you like what you saw, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing here, go down there and hit that subscribe button. I can't build this channel without you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.